Hey everyone, welcome to the demo for Curse of the Sea Rats, which I have sat on the key for for an embarrassingly long time. I am so sorry. Uh, I meant to cover it immediately, and then I was, I think this was before I got sick and had computer problems twice. And just a series of, I've been, everything's ever just been behind on everything. Quickly getting at risk of running out of time. A Royal Navy flagship sails from the Caribbean to the to Great Britain full of evil pirates and prisoners to be judged. The pirate witch Flora Byrne casts a spell using an ancient amulet that transforms everyone on board. Everyone gets turned into rats, and they somehow think this is a downgrade. Flora Byrne kidnaps the Admiral's son and escapes with her private crew. She's also a rat, and she stole a child. A deal is struck. The Admiral offers the remaining prisoners their freedom. In exchange, they must rescue his son. I feel like the stealing of the child was all the narrative uh, motivation that we needed. And everyone could have just already been rats. <laughs> I don't know if you needed to explain everyone becoming rats. Our voyage has taken quite the dark turn. This was most unexpected. Curse that witch! Floraburn has transformed us into rats and kidnapped my son, Timothy! Things hardly look better for you four. If we get out of this, all that awaits you in Britain is a trial for high treason. They will try you, and very likely find you guilty. The penalty for such crimes, I'm afraid to say, is death. What? Uh <laughs> oh! <laughs> I wasn't ready for this escalation. Such is the fate of all who rebel against the crown. Your trial will be fair, but your guilt is beyond doubt. But perhaps you do have some luck. My misfortune could be to your benefit. A captain can never abandon the sacred duty he has to his ship or crew. At any cost to myself or my family, I must remain to guard the ship. So here's my offer to you. Rescue my son Timothy, and defeat Flora Byrne. Bring me the witch, dead or alive, I do not care which. In return, you will be cleared of all charges. So, is there one among you crazy enough to captain this mission? Choose your character, I assume, okay? I was not prepared for- <laughs> BUSSA! <laughs> I was not prepared for the, uh, level of setup- okay. So we're also, like, like, d disposable, like, death row inmates on top of everything else that is happening here. Uh... Douglas- David Douglas, American settler recently enlisted in the Continental Army to fight against the British Empire. Buffalo Calf. Cheyenne Hunter arrested while releasing horses from an English detachment while, while soldiers slept. Okay. Death penalty for opening a gate. Bussa, fugitive slave from the island of Barbados, leader of the group of rebels against slavery. These aren't very well justified uh, cases of treason. Akane Yamakawa, Japanese uh, Une Bugaisha. Ga Gaisha? To, is that, I'm guessing the last part is familiar to me, but the rest is like a lot of extra that I don't know. Warrior of the oh, Warrior of the Shogun in a secret mission in America. What was the treason? <laughs> Just being Japanese. They didn't say what they caught them for. But I guess the oh right, this is the British Empire. So this is an American. Oh, this is before the War for Independence. Right? The shit's fucked. Okay. And it's multiplayer, but we're not really set up for multiplayer. How does this guy do? He punches the shit out of people, apparently. Oh, he does- wait, he has a knife? <laughs> for blocking? Can I swing it? 
Halt! No one's allowed in right now on account of the repairs what we're doing. Captain's orders. Ah, and take this amulet. Flora dropped it during her escape. Perhaps it will be of use to you. It is none to me. I do talk. I did it once on accident. And I... Is it up? It's up. The Admiral, that is. It's being right good to you, lot. You'd better be grateful. You better be grateful for the the death throw and whatnot. Well, this guy took to being here very quickly. I never thought that the underpants could be used to sail repair ship sails. So we're heavy on the 2.5D. Look at that. It's really goofy. Why is there a guy up in there? Right, I'm gonna skip ahead on the dialogue a little bit just because we're on a, we're on a, a, a schedule here. I got an apple. So we have, so right clicks are right triggers our inventory. I thought it might be special abilities, but it's like consumables and whatnot. Blacksmith, that is the blacksmith. I ain't here at the mo. Come back later. He'll probably give you a hand. They are the same dude. Speaking in the Our same voice. Sex, no recruits. It's been so long since we've had newbies. I remember the last one, young Jimmy. What a great student. We fought together on Port Royal, and he did great, Jimmy did. But unfortunately, he lost his ear in that fight to the death with Spoon. He might have been Admiral. Without the ear, the hat just wouldn't stay in place. Anyway, enough about that. You listen here, recruit. Do you want to hear Major Mallory's martial lesson? Sure, I want to keep my ears. How do gameplay? The question is whether this game has anything to teach me or if it's just... Have you played a beat-em-up before? That's new. Actually, uh, uppercuts are pretty uppercuts are pretty common, but it's good to know about it. He just little slams. <laughs> Giant man uses tail whip. That cannot be the most reasonable part of his his setup. There might be a leg in there. It's hard to tell actually. Does it keep bouncing? Maybe if I keep pressing it. Nope. Yeah, I don't think I can do it a second time in a row. Oh there, recruit! Oh there, recruit! I don't. It wasn't continuing. Nope. Well, that lock didn't do much, did it? You're supposed to put the lock on the door, not just on the front for fun. Well, you know, in the claw, I guess. If only I had a gosh darn ace of spades, I could beat him in this round. This bad streak can't go on forever. What are you looking at? You're making me nervous. I can't play poker like that. Y'all just adapted to being rats pretty quickly, didn't you? Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> I didn't realize. <laughs> Just was, that's the first enemy in the game. I was completely unprepared for that. Just thought there was just wildlife hanging out. <laughs> Who's putting all this everywhere? Robert Stunning Twine, I think is what it says. All right, boy -o. I'm the quartermaster. In charge of supplies and provisions. Would you like to buy something? Ah, now wait the long faces. You didn't expect the supplies to be free, did you? We lost a lot of our cargo and provisions in the shipwreck. What can be recovered will need to be rationed. Ah, but I do have a heart now. We can work out a little commercial agreement, to be sure. Would you like to buy something? I think someone's doing a little, uh, 
illegal opportunism. An energy nostrum. Return to the shore and it breaks? So it's a, that's your uh, homeward bone. Reset skill trees, oh, that's expensive. I don't know what I want wool for. I don't think we're really ready to interact with the system very much. I don't have that much money. He's a slacker if ever I've seen one. If he's not finished with the bridge soon, we'll never get the good supply train going. Now, if you see him, you tell him from me to get shifted, or he'll be peeling potatoes for a whole month by thunder. Okay, but how much do you charge for a hug? Oh, oh I was here earlier. That was a different way through. Yep. Ain't doing that right now. Don't get me tentacle. That's what I thought. <laughs> I'm like, I don't think this I don't think this is a cosmetic tentacle. I think it is an evil tentacle. Uppercut. Nope, that didn't that does not launch him. Definitely thought there'd be a different outcome there. Okay, can I double jump? Ow. Okay, no, I can't make that jump. I don't think punching gives you any like bonus jump. Wait. What's going on now? Stop. Who are you, ghost? I am not a ghost. Mind your manners. I am Wu Yun, emissary of the Shen of the Southern Sea, and I've been itching to get out of the amulet. More magic? What a day! Of all the things in heaven and earth, almost all are beyond your capacity for understanding. I will attempt to explain, however. Wow, rude. <laughs> the Eye of the Serpent has passed hand to hand around the world for centuries. We have always shown our favor to the Master of the Eye of the Serpent. Have we charged a fair price for it? Some have attempted to destroy it, but the eye of the serpent remains to observe the world. In its recent history, Flora Burns stole the eye of the serpent in the Caribbean. Flora is now beginning to grasp the power she has in her hands and her abilities by the hour. My granny always told me stories of the Ashe. The essence that flows in our things. But I thought they were just children's tales. Now I know magic is real. But how do we know you're not an evil Arisha in the service of Flora? Enough. We have no time for further talk. Every minute is precious. Flora Byrne has the ring, the other half of the Eye of the Serpent, which was separated when the powerful spell was cast. I am owed a debt for my service to her, and I will take payment. My powers are greatly weakened without the ring, but I can feel ancient and powerful magic flowing in this land. Harvest all the spiritual energy you can, and I will help you recover your strength, reward you with great powers, and perhaps I can make you human again. I have to go back home, Arisha. I will help you, but my need is urgent. Let's not waste any more time. That witch is gaining ground by the minute. Perfect. Remember that your fellow prisoners can help you. And now, my first favor, I will awaken your inner element. Magic power. And we can change characters. 
Oh! I guess that's my magic power. Is this the only time I use a sword? I can block and I can do a magic power with my sword. Oh, it's gone. Choose your hero. If you so desire. Prove my skills via those things. Okay, I have 85. It's cost 300, so no. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Ow. Wow, really nailed that. Ow. <laughs> Trying to get the cadence down. I was not nailing it. Wow, all of my health is gone. Oh. All of my health is gone. <sighs> this person can attack at different angles. Oh. Do not taunt me, ghost. Yep. Got my stuff back. <laughs> Stop it! Oh, oh, I fell in the hole. I guess leveling heals you. We're averaging more cutscenes than fights. Powerful magic in this place. Perhaps you could make use of it. Find other ancestral doors to teleport to different locations. Those fast travel spots. Can I walk on this? Nope. Oh, that's the top of the rope. Do different characters have different abilities? Actually, I think this might be a Metroidvania. The map set certainly looks like it. I think you need to gain the ability to, to tight rope walk. That's a slide? If you say so. <laughs> Just leaps forward on all fours. <laughs> this rat causes me problems. Fly! Nope. I'm surprised uppercuts don't seem to launch people. I thought that would be why there'd be an uppercut and a side scroller, honestly. Oop. Hello. I'll take it. Hmm. Come and get it. Ha 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 ha. What? Oh. I think I might be in trouble. <laughs> uh, hmm, they didn't follow me through. But they will just camp me. Oh! <laughs> the little dash being a semi-viable attack was not what I expected. Oops. There you go. Eat that sandwich. Uh, oh, it's like a giant whale flipper, isn't it? Looks like a hand. A cuppa. Fancy a cuppa. Ow. I specifically dodged playing the character that seems heavily telegraphed as being Protagonist Man, the man who is protagonist. There's like a specific tropey type of protagonist that games have when, when their characters are humans. 
And when they're animals, it's always like the weirdly clean cut blonde looking animal is like, it is me, protagonist man. They even made him American. Give me the child, witch. Surrender, or I will have to use force. Are you kidding me? Are you really the best blacksmith they could find to come after me? This isn't worth my time. Fatso, get rid of them. Bye bye, rat. <laughs> Am I a blacksmith? They keep calling me a blacksmith. They also said somebody else was a blacksmith that will help me later. Well, well. Look what we've got here. A little rat looking for trouble. I've been locked down in that boat for so long that I can't even remember the last time I was at a party. But looks like the party's come to Fatso this time. Shall we dance? I'm in a hurry, so let's get this over with. You won't last a minute. I'm gonna hit you so hard, your ears will dance. <laughs> That's a good sprite. Oh, I... <laughs> oh, you get hurt by colliding with people. Oh no, he does the thing where he just runs into... Oh, jeez! Okay, rude. Uh! What the fuck was that? <laughs> Besides a giant opening, apparently. Huh. Oh, that's hard. I guess I got a hard commit to jump, jumping as far as I can to skip all the way past it. Oh, I'm in trouble. Uh, cup. Uh, okay, Apple. They, they put A on top, which is weird because Y is on top of controllers. But I thought I had to press a different button. Getting all of my ass beat. Ah. Ah I'm not. I am not good at this. <laughs> Big opening. Big opening. Big opening. Commit. Commit. Out. Kappa. Wait. What does Kappa do? Oh fuck. Oh, I'm so trash. Oh, big opening. Big opening. Big opening. There you go. Take maximum advantage of iframes. Bully. You only won because I haven't had my morning coffee. And it's just a bad day, you know? Coffee? <gasps> You're not really British. Squeaks won't be able to stop Flora's plan. We'll meet again, and then I'll show you what real pain is. I've leveled again. What do leveling do? Uh, I think my health has gone up, so that's good. And you just kind of generally have stats. And then you have a separate currency for buying skill points. Which will maybe be in this room now? Fuck you! <laughs> you get a special kind of spite. <laughs> no! <laughs> ah! Why were you in there? Oh, they really cannot react if you are just pummeling them. Aw, oh, stuff keeps falling in the water and making me sad. If you're on- oh, hello. If you're on this side, you can connect. Maybe? Is that one lower than the other ones were? Dude can legitimately- ah! If it was gonna explode, I kinda thought I would've done that during the fight. Is my first thought when I saw the barrel was like, is this an explosive? But then it didn't. Oh. 
I thought it got shorter so I might have to crawl forward, but instead it was uh, a drop. Hence, surprised noise. Uh, so combat and exploration trees, I assume? No, defensive trees? It the uh, might be physical versus magical. This starts with the earthquake. Shockwave that I have. Magic defend. Uh, percentage based upgrades. Get a second uh, energy orb. That means you can do two attacks, I think. Increase your attack. Crit. Take less damage when you're low on health. A self heal. Also expensive. That'll be 750. 5% crit. I should probably try to save for a self heal. Why are you hiding down here? I thought you were here to help me. Goodness. <laughs> oh my god. It just rockets around straight through walls. I don't feel very equipped to deal with that bat right now. Maybe if I was the kind to swing a sword around. It's so funny to me that he had- Ah, oh, what? The, the clams are mad at me too? <laughs> what? Did you just do like 70 damage? Oh, fuck you. You don't know what I've been going through, man. Whatever happened to Happy as a Clam? No. Oh! Ah. Gotta get used to that. Every every triangle jump in every game is always different. It's always a new thing to sort of figure out the the uh the trick to. Where is he? Where is he? Oh, he still got me. Oh, he jumped over my attack. Why is it why is that thing so good at this? <laughs> a little late. Good job. Oh. Definitely feels like that when that guy did hit me, he did a ton of damage. At least I thought I had like 60 plus health at the time. Two hundred spiritual energy for a... Sh oh. So you have to buy class travel spots. Oh, and I have to go. Oh, I had to unlock the previous one too. So I still have to run all the way back in order to unlock that one. I think the fact that there was already dialogue there kind of prompted me not to check for an additional interaction. I said expensive before, but honestly, the stuff I'm looking at so far isn't that expensive. It's just that there hadn't been that much combat yet. There wasn't much chance to get currency, but now I'm just like, yeah, every, you, you punch one guy and you get 35. That'll add up quickly. He's got a gun! Who taught r ga rats had a gun? The art style's great, but I, I can't help but think, like, why not just commit to everyone having been a rat all along? The why does a chicken explode? New questions. Oh, I don't have my- oh, I was trying to blow him up and I didn't have any magic. So I almost died. <laughs> why is this happening to me? Hello.
Would like self heal, please. Increase your health by 30. But like leveling also increases it. Nope, nope, that's a dead end. Let's see, map screen? Uh. D pad? It's just an alternate way of playing the game. Ancestral amulet. The treasures you've collected. Oh, those are collectibles, it looks like. Lower gold molar. Okay. Detail. Flip. Gold plated lower molar dropped by Fatso when he escaped. I'm sure Fatso will still spend the whole day eating with his own teeth with his own teeth. Okay. Uh, I don't see a way to look at the map. There it is. So we've, I think we've explored 7% of Fisherman's Cave. Or 7% of the game, I don't know. <laughs> so not prepared for what half of these enemies end up actually doing. Gah! You get a whole magic attack just to you, evil chicken. I can't believe the, the chickens are full of the fucking, like, dragon fire or whatever it's called from, like, Season 3 of Game of Thrones. 2? Season 2? I don't know. Explodey fire oil. It was just oil, basically. But it was magic in that universe, because, like, whoa, I've never heard of combustibles. I just missed that chest. I can't go back up. Whoops. Look at my tiny pitiful jump. <laughs> oh, that looks like I should be able to make it, though. There we go. I <laughs> just punch the chicken in the face and run away. You can just beat up the chicken and it doesn't explode? Did the chickens knowingly explode? Or is that part of her magic? But if it's her magic, then why don't they explode when you beat them up? I guess she got hit by her own magic, because she's also not a human anymore, and she was in the flashbacks. <gasps> Still hit me. Actually, I think I might have taken collision damage. I saw something here. Is this a secret? I'm not sure. Uh. Those are very precise jumps. Wait, what? Can I not make that jump? I don't know if I can make that jump. Seems like I definitely should have made it by then if you could, so... I'm gonna go no. Boyfriend? Boyfriend? I don't think he's boyfriend. Huh. I got one too. Huh. I'll show you yours if you show you mine. Ow! Shut. Oh, he does a lot of damage, and he's also not. A, he doesn't have a boss health bar, so this is just a dude, and he will kill me. I have no healing items left. All, only cringe. Jump over him. Okay. Oh, I took a collision damage. Okay, we got it. There we go. Either the I feel like either the ledge grab needs to be slightly more accommodating, or the if the if I'm not supposed to make the jump, then that should be slightly further away to display that. Because there's a, there's a lot of like I think I can do that. Okay, this is a new zone, so the percentage must be the whole game then, or continent or something. The door is locked. That's a wall. This just kind of dead ends down here. No. Ah, ah, why are you? Why are there barrel rats? <laughs> why have you adapted vaguely rat-like behaviors if you are people? 
is the trick here is that they turned all of the people into rats, into rat men, but they also turned all the rats into rat men. <laughs> you just have to try to tell the two apart in the crowd. Although I feel like the difference would be whether or not they're wearing clothes. Not that, not that deep. <laughs> Turns out that chicken has an explosive personality. Da, 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 da. All right. Can increase my attack and increase my health. Crit. The first hit you block heals for three percent of your total health. That seems not very interesting. This is incredibly low impact sounding ability, honestly. Survive one lethal hit is always nice. J jump in the air and fall, dealing physical damage to nearby enemies, knocking them back. I would like Meteor Jump. That sounds cool. It's also not within the scope of where we're going to make it today. Deal 25% more damage when you're low on health. I'm not sure how much magic defense applies to most of what's happening so far. I don't think we're generally dealing with people that uh, use magic yet. I'm sure it'll become a thing. Knowing some games too, they might just be like, those grenades count as magic damage, because there's two tam damage types. <laughs> that seagull's head. This looks like a cigarette with a face drawn on it. What's going on? Well, I live here now. Oh! My apologies. My little boy Kowalski is a little talker. But his actions speak for himself. I am King Crapper, the great and mighty king of crabs. And thanks to the great and kind Flora, we are now greater and mightier than ever. The mere thought of the treasures which Flora will bless us with, as thanks for destroying you, makes my claws tingle. Seeing you makes my mouth water. I love eating steamed crabs. Oh, this, the rest isn't voiced. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. This will be the easiest treasure we'll collect yet, right, little boy? Crush these snacks. I'm gonna get deleted. He's very large. I don't think I can jump over him, which is kind of an issue for the moment I get pinned into a wall. Well, okay, he jumps. Okay, that's helpful. Ah! In fact, he might only jump. <laughs> oh, here comes something else. Ow! Ow! Oh! Oh, full screen splat. Ow, shit. There's a specific stiffness to get used to where the character kind of has like their own inertia and movement that poses some challenges. And you're definitely like... There's definitely some animation priority going on where when you, when you get into an action you are committing to it! Ah, damn it. I was ready for it, but I was- but I still did it wrong. Ah! Oh, I was trying to run. I was ready for the incoming thing, and I was not ready. Uh, oh! Oh! Oh, oh he's faster! Ow! Wow, rude. <laughs> okay, no, he still comes out. He's being very mean to me. Damn. 
All right, let's see if I can slightly optimize and end this on a better note. Not the hardest boss, but... Ow. <laughs> I do wonder if the other characters have better range. Speed and whatnot. In for a bit of a rough time with this guy. Let's use magic fast as possible. Startled me. I keep forgetting when he does at that part. I keep forgetting the actual moment to be- I keep thinking the moment's gonna be an attack and then he kind of just hangs out for a bit. You gonna jump? Damn it, I'm never ready. He lands a bit faster than I expect him to. Ah, shit. Oh god. I'm stuck inside of him! Oh no! Ah! Never! I never make it! Oh shit. Ah, fuck. I thought he was gonna- <clears throat> I am terrible at the timing of this game. I'm doing a horrible job. There's no excuse to uh, be getting this torn apart by such... It's basically just using one attack. Come on. jumped over it. Oh, huge mistake. There we go. So you charge up your thing with, with melee attack. Oh, now it's going to be faster. Oh, it is three! I thought two was the new cadence. Is he going to jump? Yep. Again? Oh, was that just a burst of speed? Ah! Just hit him, just hit him. <laughs> there we go. Wabowski! No! Look at how they massacred my boy! References. My Twitter will never be gone. <gasps> well, that's important. All right. Pro speed run tr strat. Uh, go kill the rat. Uh, sorry, I'm the rat. Go, go kill the crab first. He gives you double jump. It's obviously very important. Oh, that's very important. I can accomplish so much with this now. Ah! What? There you go. That knocks that down. We're back, we're back towards the beginning then. I remember this spot. I'm wrapping things up, but I feel com just compulsed to go save regardless. Even though it's a demo. I beat a boss fight. I need to save? 
and spend my currencies. But anyway, this has been Curse of the Sea Rats. Thank you for the developers for sending me a preview copy of the demo. And sorry for taking months to get around to it. We're coming up on its release date, I think. That's, is, I think it's in April. So you can check out the link in the description to wishlist this game and you'll get an email when it is out. And that'll be it for now. See you guys next time.